going on, guys? My name's Josh. Welcome to the first ever episode of the Mitsu Talk Tech Talk, powered by Rick's Racing. I got to start off by giving a huge shout out to Ricky from Rick's Racing. He's the one to help me out with this camera, these lights, these microphones, the editing software, everything that we need to bring you some more valuable information. We want to bring you more information about our cars, our engines, our drivetrains, and everything that makes them go. And we're even going to sprinkle in a little bit of racing knowledge here and there so that you can be a little bit more confident when you go to the track. Now, I plan to release one of these every other week, and uh, we're going to keep doing it until we run out of topics to cover. Right now, I have a list of over 100 topics that I plan to cover, so it may take us a while. But if you have a topic that you want covered, something about your particular platform or something that you're having a hard time with, please comment it in the comments, and uh, we'll make sure we get to it in the future. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. So in most of these videos, I'm going to have at least one expert that joins me here so that we can cover the topic and get the most useful information out of each topic that we can. Today, however, I want to start with an easy one, one that I see get confused a lot, but one that I think that we can fix very easily. Two words that we use interchangeably in our everyday world is quick and fast. But in the car world, quick and fast mean very different things. When I make a record update on Mitsu Times uh, about someone breaking a mile per hour record, I'll say that such and such is the fastest. But then inevitably someone will comment and say, oh, well, I thought such and such was the fastest when they're talking about quickest and not fastest. So let's break it down. Quick is a measure of time, whereas fast is a measure of distance over time. That's why we usually get miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Think about it like this. Quick is a measure of acceleration and fast is a measure of your top speed. So if you ran a 10.187 ET or elapsed time, that's how quick your car is. Your trap speed of 124.71 mile per hour is how fast you were. So fast will be the miles per hour or kilometers per hour, whereas quick will be the ET or elapsed time. So let's use this example here. We have the Six Sigma Tuning 16G list. We see that Kevin Jewer is at the top of the list with his 16G powered rear wheel drive 1G. His best ET is a 9.305. We see that his speed is 131.6. So if we go down to number three, we see Mr. Uh, money bags Bucci. Uh, he has a 9.927, but his trap speed is 141.35 mile per hour. So even though Kevin Drew is the quickest, Joe Bucci is the fastest. So hopefully that clears it up a little bit. A, a recent one that I think everybody has uh, fresh in their mind is uh, Rafe from RRT. You know, he broke the world record for the Evo. He is the quickest. He's the driver of the quickest Evo in the world. And his teammate Nick with the Wild Evo is the driver of the fastest Evo in the world with a 199.40, just barely besting Rafe's 197. Nick is the fastest, Rafe is the quickest. In a later episode, I'm gonna do a deep dive down the drag strip on foot to talk about how the drag strip measures your time. And hopefully that'll clear up the difference between quick and fast a little bit more because you'll see that they're measured a little bit differently. And hopefully it'll open your eyes to the next time someone says, oh, well, this car's the quickest and not the fastest. You'll, you'll have a little bit more knowledge and be a little bit more confident in what you're talking about. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you learned something today. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. It's going to come out in another two weeks. We already have a bunch of them filmed, and I can't wait for you to see them. See you next time.